Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we're gonna start by talking about Nick Walker and his most recent physique update. We got a couple of other awesome updates of some top bodybuilders and by the way, yeah, I am back after a couple of weeks of not really making videos. As you guys probably know, I posted on my community section, I competed in IBB World Championships where I placed second among 21 competitors and I am very much happy with the result but you know what, next year I want to win. There's going to be another year until I compete again, but in 5 weeks we have Mr. Olympia and for the next 5 weeks I will be posting a lot of content, I will bury you guys. I am super excited about 2022 Mr. Olympia because it's going to be insane, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be super competitive. And now let's start with talking about Nick Walker who just posted a couple of, um, a couple of shots, uh, basically a proper physique update, you can see everything pretty much, the lighting is very good. It's very strong, it looks a lot like stage lighting, you know, it's realistic, it's what you're gonna see on stage basically, you can't really hide your weaknesses under this kind of lighting, so it is what it is, what you see right here is probably what you're gonna see on stage, of course Nick is going to improve a lot in those five and a half weeks, but as for what I'm seeing right now, honestly guys, I just have to say, I don't really love what I'm seeing. Again, I talked about this multiple times in my videos before, like I mentioned it a lot of times, Nick Walker trained his arms a little bit too much in the offseason, and some of you guys are like, arms can never be too big, but you guys are wrong, because look at these photos, I'm gonna show you other poses, and basically in every single pose, whether it's side chest pose, where you should look at, for example, the chest, right, or like the back double, where you should look at the back itself, you're always staring at Nick's arms because his arms are so dominant. As you can see, his weight is 272 pounds with this conditioning, which means he is big. Like, he is really, really big. And you guys know that he is very short. So, 272 at like 5 foot 6, like, that's a lot of muscle. That's a lot of muscle. And honestly, with that much weight and actually knowing how, how big he is, he should look thicker in this pose, he should look bigger, especially upstairs, but I think his arms are taking away from his width, from his, uh, from his thickness of his upper body, I think his arms, his huge freaking arms are hurting his look overall, so this is side chest, take a look at the back double for example, I gotta say, this back is a really good back man, it's a really good back and I think he improved it a lot, from last year, he definitely added a lot of tissue to that back, last year it was good, it wasn't a bad back, it was something he should have worked on for sure, and he worked on it and he improved it, but I don't think it was bad last year and I don't think it's a weakness anymore if it ever was, now it looks really good, but again, look at the arms, look at the arms, arms are overpowering everything, they are overwhelming, they are definitely way too big, look at the size of those freaking biceps, how big they are, and also the tricep sweep, like, I know, it's very impressive, I love to see big arms, but I think his entire physique is suffering because of those arms, anyways, you can see his glutes and his hamstrings, you can see his conditioning is really good for five and a half weeks out, so he's very lean right now, he's really big, like he had a lot of tissue, the only thing that I don't really like is, I think he, he kind of ruined his symmetry, his proportions, I think back when he was doing his off seasons with Matt Jensen, Matt was holding him back, however in this off season, he didn't really hold back with his arm training, he was blasting his arms all the time, you could have seen that on his social media, on his Instagram, on his YouTube, so many arm workouts, it's awesome to watch, it's awesome to see him with an arm pump, but really, is that what his physique needs? Well, if he wants to be known as the guy with the best arms of all time, then sure, yeah, he can be like a new, I don't know, Tom Platts, like Tom Platts is the guy with the best legs of all time, and maybe Nick is going to become the guy with the best arms of all time, but is that the way to become the best bodybuilder in the world, and he wants to win the Mr. Olympia, is that really the smartest choice, is that really the smartest path, I don't think so. From the front you can see his legs, which is something he was criticized for last year, like he could add more uh, sweep to those quads for example, uh, there were things like also his chest and his back, but I think the legs were like the, the biggest thing that he should have improved on, did he improve his legs? 
Based on all the photos that we saw so far, it really looked like he did. But when he does this pose, for example, again, your eyes just go to his arms. And his arms are just so big that they make everything else smaller on his body, you know, in relation to his arms. And last year, his arms weren't this dominant. So when he steps on that stage, I don't know how noticeable his improvements will be because he progressed his arms too much. Maybe in comparison to other guys, it's gonna look good, I don't know, but when he stands alone, it's kind of hard to see the improvements that he made because his arms grew so much. Anyways guys, in five and a half weeks, we're gonna see Nick on that stage and we're gonna see what improvements he actually made. But based on what I'm seeing right here at five and a half weeks out, I think his conditioning is very good. His hardness is a little bit better now. I think things are clicking with the Matt Jensen. I think Matt is going to pull the maximum out of Nick Walker this year. And what does that exactly mean in terms of placing at a Mr. Olympia? Well, I might change my mind as the prep goes along as we get closer to the Mr. Olympia, but right now, if I had to predict something, I would say the best case scenario for Nick will be if he stays in that top five. I don't see him placing much higher simply because the other guys are looking so amazing but the fact that he's competing only once this year and last year he did so many shows he's probably going to peak very well for the mr olympia and because of that i don't really see him dropping a lower than fifth but i don't really like these photos i don't think he looks that good in these photos uh, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see, he's going to change, I'm sure, rapidly uh, as the Mr. Olympia is approaching, so I'm probably gonna change my prediction, we'll see, this is what I think right now, based on what I see, and based on the other guys, what they look like, for example, Hunter Labrada. Take a look at this guy, this guy barely even beat Nick Walker last year, he was fourth, Nick was fifth, and so many people were like, uh, Nick was robbed, like uh, Hunter deserved to be lower than fourth, and Nick deserved to be, uh, you know, better than Hunter, but right now, based on what I'm seeing right here, I think Hunter is going to go higher, you know, actually, I don't think he's gonna be fourth, I think he's going to be top three this year, because look at this, madness, he looks like he gained another, I don't know, 15 pounds of muscle. He looks like he actually added a lot of muscle. And I don't know how much he improved, how much he actually grew. He never really says uh, his weight in these most recent photos. We got a couple of those. Uh, there are a couple of posts and he didn't say his weight. But I don't know. I, he looks heavier. He looks bigger. He looks more muscular than last year. Not just bigger, but just overall better, you know, considering the hardness, the fullness, the roundness, the detail, you know, the, 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 the sharpness. At this point, five and a half weeks out, how lean he is, everything just looks so freaking impressive. He looks amazing at this point. Earlier, when I talked about Nick, I talked about the lighting. I said that lighting at, at Nick's gym is not really the flattering kind. It's like the more realistic kind. And this one, this is just the regular gym lighting that kind of probably makes you look better than you really are or you would be on stage. So I think, you know, Hunter has that going for him. The, 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 the lighting in this gym is really awesome. So he probably wouldn't look this good uh, if he was in the same posing room as Nick. But then again, who knows? Maybe he would look even better. I don't know, but it looks like that. Anyways, he looks amazing in this photo. Take a look at this one also. This one I found very impressive because last year his weakness, he basically had one weakness and that was it. It was his back. Everything else, he was spot on, including even calves. Literally, this guy is very, very complete. He doesn't have any flaws, pretty much. His waistline is also really good. He has great symmetry. He has great proportion. The only thing that maybe isn't exactly ideal is the size of his head compared to the rest of his body, which you can't really see in the back poses, but you can see uh, in some of the front poses, but that's something he can't change. I mean, I'm joking, I don't think it's gonna hurt his, uh, his look or his um, placing at a Mr. Olympia, but like overall, he's very, very complete, and I think he improved his back a lot. He has very high lats, so he can't really have like the world-class back. He will always have that weakness because of those high lats, but it looks like he gained some thickness. 
Maybe he will never have great lower lats, but he has pretty good traps and rhomboids and he can try working on that, you know, trying to make that look bigger and more impressive and I think that's kind of what he did in the offseason, so I think he grew his back overall, he gained more thickness in his back and as far as his lats, they will probably never be like Dorian Yates type of lats, but I'm sure he will improve those too, I think he actually did improve those, what he has, what insertions he does have, I think his work paid off and I think he got a maximum out of his back in that one year. I think he definitely progressed his lats and his upper back. So I think he's going to be much more complete on that Mr. Olympia stage now with improved back. But everything else, as I said before, like he never really had any weaknesses. Like arms, great. Shoulders, great. Chest, great. Quads, hamstrings, calves. Everything, bro. I mean, like even, even his waistline, his abs... He has every single thing, and now he looks just overall bigger, harder, thicker. I think he just overall grew and improved his physique, and he's going to be really great in that Mr. Olympia stage. I think it's like the maturity thing, why he won't win the Mr. Olympia this year. It's probably going to take him a couple of years, but I can definitely easily see this guy eventually winning the Mr. Olympia title. Alright, next we have a story about Steve Kuklo, who basically reposted this post by Bice and Tries. And in this post, basically, he says, Steve Kuklo says that he pretty much retired, which is something I assumed. I made a video about this earlier this year, and now I kind of feel bad because I made that video, because in this post he explains what actually happened. And uh, I don't think we're going to see this guy on the stage ever again. Definitely not this year. So he says he shut it down for the year. But I don't see. I don't, I don't think we're going to see this guy again. You know, because he competed this year and last year. And both of those years he was beaten by so many guys. So many young guys who are coming up. And uh, he didn't get the Mr. Olympic qualification. He tried two years in a, in a row. And once, at one point, he was talked about as the future Mr. Olympia winner when he was younger. And he placed, I think he was top six at one point in Mr. Olympia. That's his best placement. Since then, he really fell down, like, in terms of, uh, of placement at the Mr. Olympia. He's not really a top bodybuilder anymore. He's, he's barely even a second-tier bodybuilder. And I don't think I can really see this guy improving at this point in his career. Basically, what he says in this in this post, you can pause the video, you can read, it's a little bit lengthy post, but basically, uh, he says that he wants to focus on his wife and his, uh, he actually wants to make a baby with his wife, uh, they had a miscarriage around Texas Pro where he was competing, and it was about the time when I made a video when I assumed that he's retired, and now I feel bad because I didn't know what was happening, he didn't really speak about this uh, on his social media, which he shouldn't, of course, uh, and now he decided to focus on his marriage, on his, uh, basically, on, on, on an attempt to make a child, and he won't be competing, I don't know how long it's gonna take him to actually get his wife pregnant, and uh, when that happens, he probably wants to stay with his wife until he gives birth, and maybe for a couple of years until the baby is young, so it looks like he decided to focus on his family, and uh, it looks like he's not gonna do bodybuilding anymore, he wants to focus on what he believes is important, and right now, for him, that's not bodybuilding, that is his family, and if he feels that way, that's great, I wish him all the best. Therefore, let's move on to an actual competitor, uh, Brett Wilkin, who is competing, I believe, this weekend. And uh, Matt Jansen, his coach, posted these two photos. You're going to see the second photo in a moment. And I don't know, guys. Honestly, I think Matt Jansen may have intentionally posted older photos of Brett Wilkin just to play, just to mess with his competitors to his competition because in these photos... Brett doesn't look like he improved at all. It looks like he even downsized from the last time we saw him compete. He looks like he looks more like he looked at that Chicago Pro where he played second after Hunter Labrada. Now his conditioning is better than it was the last time we saw him on stage, and it's going to get much much better for the stage uh, in those in the next couple of days. But uh, right now. I mean, look at this. This was a couple of days before the Arnold Classic, where he didn't do very well, his conditioning wasn't very good, but the reason why he stopped competing that, that season was because he thought he needs to make more improvements. 
it was not all about conditioning for him. But here he looked massive. He looked like he gained a lot, right? But he wasn't very conditioned, especially you can see it in the quads, in the, in the glutes. Like he didn't have a lot of separation. You can see it pretty much everywhere. Like he was really big and really full and round, but conditioning just wasn't there. And of course, he didn't place very well. Now, in these photos that Matt posted, he looks he looks like he's in a really good conditioning. Like he looks shredded. He looks peeled. Look at the glutes. Like they are separated. They are dry. And again, he's drying out. He's in the process right now. There is still two more days for him to carb up to actually completely dehydrate himself. So I'm expecting something more impressive on that stage. But I was following his offseason closely and I thought he actually made some serious gains in the offseason. I thought he grew because he looked really massive in the offseason. And I follow him on his YouTube and his social media. And I know that he's very much committed. I know he's eating a lot, a lot of food. And just seeing him now, you know, shredded when he lost all the fat and all the water and actually seeing that he didn't make a lot of progress, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he actually made a lot of progress. Maybe these photos are just not doing him justice. But only a couple of days ago he posted this video, this posing video. Yeah, the lighting is different, but still he looked bigger. I don't know, man, I think he looked bigger. So that's why I'm thinking maybe Matt posted older photos uh, on purpose, because here... Brett looks bigger than those two photos. Or maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. Look at this. What do you guys think? Do you think there is a chance that Matt is playing games and posting older photos? Or am I just not really seeing this clearly? Or maybe he dieted down way too hard to get in condition and so he lost a lot of muscle in the process. Which I think is probably what happened. Whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video guys, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel and prepare for a lot of videos before the Mr. Olympia and after the Mr. Olympia as well. Thank you so much guys for all your support. All the best guys and bye bye.